everyone, this is Graciela again from South of France and today is the final episode of our first um, six weeks tutorial session. So over these past few weeks we've been working on painting butterflies, so I've cut it in half but yeah we'll reassemble that. We've been working on painted magnolias which I've cut right here, that's our painted magnolia that we did a few weeks ago. We have been working on sugar magnolias, so I've had to rearrange this branch slightly so it fits a bit more our design. And we have been working on tropical flowers, um, orchids, leaves, berries, um, and we are going to assemble uh, our two designs today. As you'll see in this tutorial, I have started upstairs like I usually do in my little workroom for sugar flowers, but um, the angle wasn't so great, so welcome to my kitchen at home, um, and I think you will see a lot more of um, the designs. So let's get started. Okay, so for our very first um, design, I've got this um, dummy covered in black sugar paint. It is a, let me just check, 18 centimeters um, um, dummy. Uh, it's pro probably about 17 and a half, uh, even 17.7 uncovered. And it is, about 15 diameter so I'll let you um, put that in inches because you know how much I can't do that so it's just a styrofoam dummy obviously for um, the tutorial uh, purposes but you could do exactly the same with the cake I have so the on this one we are going to use the orchids and um, the foliage and the berries I have a board covered as well it will need a ribbon um, it's covered in black and it's just slightly bigger um, than my dummy. Okay, so if you have a look at it from the side, it's slightly bigger. Okay, so this is going to be slightly tricky to um, film because obviously it's a dummy. It's not like a flower and I'm going to work on the side of the dummy right now. Um, and I'm going to airbrush it. So um, I'm going to use some stencils. So I can use it flush with the base of my dummy here which means it leaves me with a little uh, gap for a ribbon that's perfectly fine and it goes all the way to the top okay so I'm going to secure this with pins so I'm going to pop that here and take a few pins and I'm going to secure that so I'm using it straight flush with the base okay and make sure it is as close to your cake or dummy as possible obviously if I was if that was a cake I would be doing that standing um you know tall but as it's a dummy and it's been covered about three four days ago I'm not that much bothered and obviously for filming purposes it is a lot easier for me to do it that way With another pin, so make sure again it's as tight and as close to the cake as possible. I'm going to do a little hole in the plastic itself because I'm going to airbrush it there. And I'm going to need a couple more. So I'll have one at the top. Or let's see one in the middle here and one at the top here that's it and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side so again make sure it is super tight One here, and I'll take one there. Right, let's have a look at it. 
let's see if it needs any more so at the base it's quite it is okay because it's really close to the cake now here uh, I might need to add an extra uh, little pin just to make sure that things are not moving so I'll add one <clears throat> probably around let's see here right do I need one at the base? I don't think so I think it is actually okay like this so obviously you want as uh, as little amount of pins as possible on your cake um, if it's a cake actually I would maybe not use the pins I probably will use some masking tape um, on the paste because it won't damage your paste and it won't poke any holes inside a proper real cake but you know dummy or not really bothered I'm going to use my Spectrum Flow airbrush that's here right so I'll pop that back here and tilt this for you to see great it's not moving anymore I'm going to turn the airbrush on and pop it on here so it stops moving so I'm gonna go back to my dummy here and I'm going to airbrush Don't go too close to uh, your dummy. Just make sure this is in position because it's moved. Okay. gonna stop okay so be careful when you pick it up because the gold that's on the stencil itself can come off and will be on your fingers so be careful not to um, touch too much and then put your fingers on the cake so I'm going to remove a little pins Come on in, sit, put two. So you could use real icing uh, for this, or um, you could just uh, use our luster dust if, with a paintbrush if you're using some um, sort of fat underneath. There's a wonderful product for that um, from Squatter's Kitchen and it's called Glidosol. Pretty, I love it. So look at that. I think that looks really, really cool. So I've got a little gap here for my ribbon at the base.
and this is it. I mean, what do you think of it? I think it looks super pretty. Just going to let it to dry for a sec. Make sure I clean up the stencil and I'll come back to you in a second. We're gonna take a short break and I'll sure see you after the ad. See you. For the next step, we are coming back to our um, flowers and leaves and berries and we're going to assemble them together and I'm going to use some um, full width tape, so it's just a uh, regular one, not split. And I'm going to tape my flowers together, so right underneath um, the paste right here i'm going to add this little one here and be careful because my stem is quite short so i'm gonna make sure i position it in the direction i want i think this looks quite pretty so tight them together nice and tight because don't want this to uh, be moving around. Okay, so when you check, this is not moving, so that's fine. And I'm going to add, I think, this one right above. Like so, so I'm going to bend it here at the back at an angle so that when I tape it, it is actually going to fit. I need to tape my uh, little stem first because I've got some wires here as you can see. So I haven't taped it um, down to the bottom so I'm going to do that right now. That's it. So, just check how you want your flower to be. Oopsie, don't break them. I think this is okay to me. So I'm gonna pop it there at the back. I could have done um, obviously a longer stem and paste here, uh, but I wasn't too sure of how I wanted it first. And we are not going to see it anyway. 
But if that was for a competition, obviously as this is covered and this is not covered, I would have everything the same. Either all covered or all not covered, but not half half. Okay, so take these together. Right, see one of the reasons why I picked this specific pattern is because if you look at the pattern, it kind of makes you think a little bit about the shape of these leaves, like, you know, like they would come from this stem here and go that way, like this, these little leaves, so I think it fits perfectly. So, I might use this big one here at the back. Right. upside down and just make sure you tape these nice and neat okay I'm going to trim these so I'm going to take this back and I think I kind of want it so you've got different options when it comes to um, putting your flowers on the cake we will cover that in the next uh, sort of season of uh, this show we'll cover uh, floral toppers um, you could have it on the side here okay and that's how it would look right or you can have it more centered like right bang in the center because it's quite again a big floral design i wanted it to be like a um statement um floral thing i'm gonna go for something in between so not so much on the side but not really in the middle too and i'm going to use let's pretend it's a cake i'm going to use a posy pick and i'm going to make sure it fits in there that will fit perfect so you want to check the size or you can see of the posy pick make sure it's long enough but not too long and i'm going to go so where's my front okay so that's the back that's the back line up and that will be the front so i think i'm gonna have it well roughly there so i see not on the side not in the middle but somewhere in between Breathe, let's go for it. So I'm gonna pop that all the way down. So if it's a cake, obviously you're using posy picks. If you're doing any competition work, you're using a posy pick as well. So let me just try to push that flush with the top of the cake like so right that's what you want so it's to protect your cake from the stem because obviously that was again it's a dummy so here we're not that much bothered but if that was a cake um the um the wires and the tape are not edible so you absolutely want to protect your cake so we are going to It. so you can use pliers to make it easier okay I'm going to cut this slightly shorter and once it's in position like the way you want just push firmly in the posy pick 
like on the pose of it, not in. Position your flowers again, your leaves. Okay, that needs to go that way and that needs to go this way. Oh, I like it. It's so tricky with the camera. Let me check if I can put it higher. Just slightly. Okay. I've got spare bits here. So at the minute, this is my design. Obviously, I will show you from the front at the end of the tutorial. Um, from the top is a lot easier at the minute. go we've got our first designs as you can see I've got my leaf bending over uh, I must admit I've done something off camera as you might see I've got some little beads here little um, sugar uh, beads these ones these ones are for, from um, pancakes and it's like multi-colored ones I was hesitating in between the green ones but they were far too um, light green and the gold ones and as I've got some gold pattern here I've gone for gold so I'm gonna show you a little bit closer so I've chosen to go for that little point at the bottom and the point at the top to have like that lovely um, sort of it gives a little um, 3d something and I think it just enhances the design we've got our um, leaves our thin beauty orchids here so that's that would be basically the front of my cake so let me just talk quickly about the board there are so 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 many very pretty cakes but they uh, are just on a simple uh, cake drum and they are not covered some people think it's just a waste of paste but i do think it finishes the design so i've got one recommendation cover your board with sugar paste it's not so much of a waste you always have a little leftover from covering your cake and it just makes things a lot more nice and a lot more neat if my board was to be in that sort of silverish color it wouldn't fit the design at all and also think about adding a ribbon which we are going to do right now so I've got some black ribbon so you could uh, use some double-sided tape on your on the side of the board to um, make the ribbon stick a lot better. I'm just going to use some pins here because I'm not so much bothered. So measure your tie your um, ribbon. Wait a minute. Again, it's might it might sound like the most silly thing ever. Like why the hell is she showing us? Uh, I have to put a ribbon on a cake because again, there's so many pretty, pretty, pretty designs with no ribbon on it and it makes me so upset so let's just so I'll show you the back of the cake what I like to do is so I've just secured um, the ribbon with a pin in here so that it stops moving around and I like to don't know if you can see guys I'm just going to show you here I like to fold my ribbon Fold it over to have something even more neat and nice. So let me make sure that's the back of my cake. Well, it looks like so. And I'm using a gold um, golden pin. Uh, it is not much. I'll remove this one and show you. It isn't much, but as I've got my gold beads here, the sugar beads, having a gold ribbon here um, just finishes off your design. One thing you could 
want to do if the bottom of your cake is not really so neat um, in my case it is quite neat so i'm quite happy with it um, you could do a sugar ribbon uh, i know some people use real ribbon on the cake i'm not a massive fan of that uh, just to quickly explain to you um, well ribbon isn't edible so really you don't want any uh, ribbon to be touching something that could be eaten obviously no one's going to be eating the board so we're not bothered about the board but when it comes to the cake itself unless it's a dummy but if i had a combination of dummies and cakes i would still do it in sugar uh, what i would do is roll out some uh, black florist paste or uh, black sugar paste with a little bit of um, cmc or tyler, tyler powder in it and cut a thin strip and make a sugar ribbon around it to have something really nice and neat but again on this one it is quite neat and i absolutely adore it don't know what you think of that but i like the combination of the gold and of the bright greens i think i would love to have that as a cake myself Ooh, i should indulge myself with a cake like this uh, for my birthday which is in soon so so that's it for our first um, design we're gonna have a short break and I should see you in a few minutes Welcome back uh, for uh, this second um, design and I have covered quite a huge dummy here so it's still a dummy as you can see I've already used it for another project um, so I have um, removed most of the uh, sugar paste from the previous design and I've put it in my dishwasher and well the heat from the water has just washed off the rest of the sugar paste and now it is fully fully ready to be um, used again obviously i don't do that for customers cakes but if i'm doing any um, project at home or any competition cake it is perfectly fine to use some dummies that you've already got home so this one as i said is quite a tall one and it is about just under 24 centimeters, which is my double barrel cake. And what I want to do, so as I've said, I have rearranged my branch. I don't know if you can remember, but this flower was at the top. There was two big flowers here at the top. But considering the shape and the size of my um, cake here, it wasn't fitting so nicely. So I have decided to um, put it lower and as I want my branch to be on this side I think I'm going to trim the base a little bit here it is uh, slightly too uh, long <sighs> managed to cut it so what I want to do is I want, so I don't know if you can see, when I build my branch, I lift the back um, with no leaf or no bud or nothing so that when I put it against a cake, nothing's in the way. So this is, I think, how I want it to be. So now what I'm going to do is take some um, 18 gauge wire and I'm going to cut some little um, pieces and what we want to do with those, bear with me one sec, is to then bend the wire and do like a bobby pin 
do you know for like girls when you attach your hair up uh you have some bobby pins and that's what we are um, doing right now so i'm going to make a few got my bobby pins and i'm going to attach my flowers to the plane so let me find the what's well, going to be the front so this is going to be the front and i'm going to attach it this way so right now i am not um, focused on my uh, petals at all as uh, you know they're individual petals i will put them back in place once this is attached on um on my paint let me just put that back straight here right so what i want to do i'm going to put a little mark let's say with this where i want my bobby pins to go so i'm going to make a little mark here try to um, put them in places where people are not gonna see them so much so i've got one two three and i might add a fourth here under the leaves and then i'll see um i'll, I'll try to see if i need some more or not I'm going to insert again some posy picks in there. So let me push um, those in. Kind of use my pliers to get that in. So there it is. And I'm just going to push. Actually, I might even take the big ones. that's it right. again if you're doing that just for it's a project at home you don't need um, those in but if you're doing a competition and if you're going to cake international um, for example you um, well, judges are going to look for these posy picks, even if that's a dummy. And if um, there is no posy pick in your dummy, you're very likely to be disqualified, which you don't want. Right. So let's position my branch now and use those bobby pins. Let's see how it fits. That is working so i'm not so much bothered about the color although you could uh before bending those you could um type them with some brown type the same type that you you've used um for the stem actually um so that we don't see them so much but again i've chosen some places where we already don't see them so much and i've got a couple extra leaves and uh, little buttons to um hide them if i need So let's use these. So put them in. So they are going inside the posy pick. Right. And what if I added a little longer one here? Can't see much. Okay. There we go. And push as much as you can. And actually that's it so that's my big magnolia branch on and as i said i'm going to add some extra leaves so this is probably slightly too long so i pop them in the posy pick so you have a look at how it fits and if you need you can add a little bit of florist type to make it um, thicker you can even pop them on a little piece of 
wire. Because at the minute, if I'm pushing that in the pencil pick, it's not fitting. What you could do is you could add in, you could add inside your pencil pick a little bit of um, sugar paste, like push it in. So when you push something in there, it just sticks in the sugar paste. Uh, but I haven't done that right now, so I'm going to um, simply tape a bud and a leaf on a very uh, short piece of um, 18 gauge wire and that will be a lot more sturdy and strong and that will go in my hose pick. Use some pliers to push it in, like so. At the same time, it gives a little bit more detail to that branch. Yeah. Little piece of uh, 18 gauge wire, my leaf. I'm gonna add an extra bud, so I've got a bud here. So, making sure you use everything I've made. So that you can hide, it's not pairs of pink. So I push it in. So. And that's it, we can't see um, the pairs of pink anymore. So I'm gonna go for something like this. Might wanna ha add um, something to this little one here. I've got my last um, short leaf. Well, small leaf that I'm going to take. Okay, so I don't have a bud anymore. That was the last two. So let me see, I'm going to pop it in there. And that's it, we are hiding the posy picks. Okay? So that's what we want to do to start with. It's up the time again, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Magnolia, so that was painted on um, sugar paste or florist paste. Um, sorry, I've cut around the shape, and obviously, I could, as I had said in the um, previous video, I could have painted the whole branch on the cake, which was the aim at the beginning. But I thought it was a little bit too much, um, so I'm just going to add this one so that you can see what I was talking about when I was saying add some will um, cut off pieces like this and add them. So this one, the stem was meant to be here. So for example, I could glue he it here. Oops, let me try and show you here. Okay. So that way we kind of feel like it's coming from the stem here, but it's just like a little painted detail on um, 
Now I'm going to use a little bit of um, piping gel with a paintbrush. I'm going to uh, brush a little bit of piping gel at the back of my cut off piece here. So I'm going to try and do it this way. Let me see if that's right first. Yeah, okay. And then push it with my fingers. And if I don't want to stay like this forever, I'm just going to pop a little pin underneath here to make sure it's not going anywhere, it's not moving and it's got some time to stick. So I'll leave those in there until it's pro properly stuck to the cake. It prevents me from touching it too much. So I'll show you where it is. It's right here with the two pins. Let me show you with the two pins here just to secure it. So it prevents me from touching it too much because obviously uh, remember this is cocoa butter painting and uh, it will melt with the heat of your fingers. Like the paint is, is very likely to melt slightly. So you don't want to touch it too much. But I want to make sure it's in place in the right position. It's not moving. So I don't know if you can see what I've tried to do is to align the bit that was brown. So um, I'll show you with my paintbrush. This is where the stem was painted and I've uh, placed it right behind um, the real stem so that it kind of looks like it's still coming from this branch. Right. So what we want to do now is to add the uh, butterfly. So as I've mentioned before, I have cut it in halves. So I've cut the two wings separate, separately so I can arrange them with a little bit of real icing and place them in a more um, well, opened wings position. And I'm going to use some black royal icing mix from Squire's Kitchen. So you've already seen me use that. It's the uh, mix the royal icing. And the black one is just amazing. So you don't need a lot of that really. Right. right at the back here is my uh, butterfly and let's see what direction is that going and just check quickly before okay it is going in this direction I think okay and just push it this is stiferalizing, it will stick pretty, pretty well. Okay. Right. And now we have to put this second wing on. And I'm just going to need a little bit more icing underneath the body here. a little bit more okay, so that a little extra line here and I'm going to just tuck it in And 
and I might use another pin just to make sure it is in the position that I want just for it to dry. felt like something was missing so uh, when you work on a floral design always make sure you've got some little extra extra leaves extra buds extra everything um, to make sure you can add little details around okay so what I think I'm going to add maybe is a little bit of um, I was thinking of adding a little bit of gold leaf like, you know just little flakes around um you could also use silver i guess it all depends on your design um i guess silver would match the blue of the butterfly um but i've got a feeling that gold is going to look more pretty on this one so i've got these gold leaves from square's kitchen Ooh. To attach gold leaf, you can use a little bit of piping gel, you can use even water. Um, just gonna add little flakes here and there. I'm gonna lift that with a paintbrush. And, oh. Add a few likes of gold This is it for today guys i hope you uh, enjoyed these six weeks together and i hope you learned um, a lot of techniques hopefully or even just a few ones and i'm really happy and pleased with the results so i hope you will give it a go at home i think i've got to say my favorite one probably this one maybe because my mom is from an island and um this tropical thing reminds me of um, some of my origins i don't know not too sure but i really think it looks it looks really really pretty um obviously i, I adore this one as well i like it too um i think there's a lot of techniques on this like the butterfly the flowers the painting uh hopefully you'll give it a go please please send me some pictures of your work um ask me questions send me emails uh, you can follow me on facebook or instagram on my page is Design Spray. Um, for those who are uh, French, I've recently had the honor to become the uh, French representative for Take International. So if you have any questions about the show, about how to be involved, about how to enter the competition, if you have any questions about the rules themselves, please, please send me a message and I'm more than happy to help. Um, thank you Paul and David for having me on Kiteflix for those six weeks together. Uh, I've had a blast, it's been amazing and uh, I really hope you like the results. I am going to be back for another six weeks um, and there, there's going to be lots of um, surprises in there. Uh, we're going to talk about flowers obviously um, and how to arrange them on a cake. We're going to do floral topper, we're going to work on um, bride posy, like a bridal posy and um yeah 
So I have so much packed in there and there's going to be some ice of all too. Uh, because, well, remember I said I love mixing techniques, even if I'm specializing in sugar flowers. Uh, I really like mixing things, so uh, this time we've mixed waffle paper and painting, but we're going to learn how to mix um, flowers and isomold. And we're going to make flowers out of isomold, so we're going to have another box together. I uh, really hope you enjoyed it. Again, please send me all your questions, and if there's anything you want to know, um, send, pop me a message. Stay safe, have a lovely day, bye bye!